Late BMW models fitted with the N62 V8 engine can suffer from a failure of the front seal on the water transfer feed pipe located on the intake valley pan. The seal shown has only 40,000 miles on it. To install a factory replacement pipe, it is necessary to remove the timing cover and associated components. Europarts has designed a solution to the problem the Euro tube allows for installation from within the intake valley, eliminating the need for disassembling the front of the engine and all the associated costs and complexities. The following video offers a general guideline for installation of the kit and shows the basic steps. After draining the cooling system, remove the intake manifold and other related components to expose the intake valley pan. Remove the intake pan so the factory one-piece coolant pipe will now be exposed. The existing pipe can now be cut in the center with a small air saw or cutoff wheel, taking care at all times to keep debris and cuttings out of the engine. Remove the factory pipe in two pieces, noting that the front section will require some twisting or careful prying to break the bond of the front seal. Remove the remaining front seal material with a pick and wire brush, taking care not to damage the seal housing. It is extremely important that all of the old front seal materials removed from the seal gallery to ensure the new front seal will fit properly. Next, remove the old rear o-ring taking the same care. Lubricate all surface of the new front seal liberally with the grease provided in the kit. Fully fit the front seal into the housing, taking care to make sure the flat profile of the seal faces forward towards the timing cover. This is critical to a proper installation. Great attention needs to be paid to make sure the new front seal is fully seated in its groove. This is evidenced when the inner edge of the seal facing the intake galley is flush fitting with the tube opening. Very firm pressure with your thumb or a smooth blunt instrument may be required to get the seal fully seated. It may take several passes applying pressure before the seal seats. Lubricate and install the new rear o-ring as well, noting however there is no orientation necessary for this seal. Fit the three supplied inner tube o-rings carefully to the front tube section so each is fully seated into its machined groove on the tube, then lubricate well with the grease provided. Fit the inner and outer tube sections together, taking care not to pinch or damage any of the pipe sealing rings, then collapse completely. Next, install the Spirolock locking ring around the smaller inner tube and slide it forward. Take the assembled and collapsed pipe and grease the front tube end. Offer it up to the front seal galley, making sure that the tube sits squarely and plumb to the front of the engine before completing the next step. With a soft face pry tool, lever the tube forward until it stops against the timing cover. You will feel and hear the tube come to stop against the timing cover indicating a proper fit. If excessive force is required or the tube does not seat against the timing cover, then the seal is not installed correctly. Fit the rear white nylon angled packing piece onto the back end of the water tube with the flat side against the water pipe shoulder and with the wide angle facing upward. Pressure should be maintained in the direction of the timing cover during this operation. Next, grab both sections of the tube firmly. Hold the front half in place and slide the rear section back into the block until it clicks home. There will be a distinct click sound as the tube is properly seated into the rear seal. The lock ring groove should now just be exposed allowing the pre-installed ring to be slid forward into place. A cooling system pressure test is recommended once all the appropriate components are assembled to ensure the pipe was installed correctly.